Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to take uh, Luminar Neo and uh, re-edit a picture in one of the more difficult lighting situations you'll run into, which is noon on a bright sunny summer day or, or, or just noon on a bright day. Uh, because what happens is um, you can see here if you look into the shadows right here, the shadows are deep and there's uh, it's kind of contrasty. There's highlights, and then you have to worry about the sky in detail and the clouds as well. So you can end up with really deep, dark shadows and blown out clouds, or or uh, you can end up with both of those, or either one of them. And uh, it's just a difficult situation. And in fact, many photographers won't even shoot at noon on a bright, sunny day just because of the difficulty of it. And so I'm going to show you some tools in Luminar Neo to fix this photograph so it looks a little bit better. Uh, so let's take a look at that real right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to develop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the highlights down. Uh, and uh, you can mess with this, the level of this. Uh, in this photograph, I'm going to start with bringing them all the way down. And I'm going to bring the shadow details up. Now, I don't want to bring them all the way up because that's too bright right there. Uh, so I'm going to bring them right about to here in this photograph. And so that looks a lot better, but there's still a lot we can do with Luminar Neo to make it even better. So uh, at this stage right here, if we just take away what we did, you can see this is the original and this is the new one. And it looks like quite an improvement. But this uh, grass up here and these uh, uh, shrubs or these uh, this undergrowth here is pretty bright and it's kind of a little bit distracting because our real subject is this house right here. Uh, so uh, there's actually a trick that we can do. Now we can do, use burning and dodging, which we will get to. But there's a trick in Luminar Neo because they have something called relight. And uh, relight, usually you use it to kind of brighten up the foreground when it's dark or adjust the foreground lighting, uh, particularly if you put a different sky or something in. Uh, but you can not only brighten the foreground or the background, but you can darken them as well. So brightness near, we're going to bring down. It's going to take a second for it to um, make its calculations to adjust. There, it darkened it a little bit finally. And if we click and turn it off, that's what it looks like. So we can we can adjust it even more if we want to, or a little less. Uh, and the nice thing about Luminar, if we go back to edits later, we can readjust any one of the things that we adjusted in here. So uh, I'm going to leave it at, at this for now. Uh, but we still have a little bit of a problem. It's it's not a huge problem, but these. Uh, this foliage right here, particularly right in the front where the sun is directly hitting it, it's a little bit bright and it's a little bit distracting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Dodge and Burn. And uh, we're going to click on the Darken function down here. And the strength, we have it at about 27. We want a lower level of strength. I think by default it's somewhere in the halfway. For a brush, the size of, uh, we want to bring the size down probably a little bit here. I think that's, I think that's a good size. We have the softness all the way up. And so you can see, if you look at the circle here, um, it, it has a, uh, two circles. The center circle is where it's kind of at the maximum effect and the strength is low. Remember on this maximum effect. And it has the larger circle, the area between the larger circle and the smaller circle. That's where it kind of uh, softens and kind of feathers or fades so that, that the uh, effect isn't, you know, too strong so it's, that it's obvious so, and it blends in better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to go down around here and we're going to just kind of slowly... Go around to any area we think is a little bit 
too bright. And if you uh, if you click and hold down the mouse, um, it will only give kind of one level of uh, of uh, of the brush or one level of the effect. But if you unclick the left and click it down again, it will add an additional layer if you want a little bit darker. So that's the way it works. Uh, so. If we take away this effect, you can see how much brighter it is there. Now you might want that effect for one reason or another, but in this case, I want to darken it so it's not so that so it doesn't stand out quite as much. And we might feather down here a little more. Uh, let's take the strength down even less and just add a little more blended some and uh, that looks pretty good right there uh, let's take it away it's too might be a little bit too strong in there so we're gonna start over again let's get rid of that and uh, we have the strength a little less now and let's so let's try this again we're gonna hold this down this time and we're going to bring this in like this and we're keeping the left button held down this whole time so that it doesn't layer it's just it's just the one layer and then we're gonna bring it in again we're holding it down again now And then we're going to take a little more at these tops. So let's look at it before and after. And that's a little more subtle right there. So, so you can see we can go to any extent that we want so we can light and darken them more and we can go back and redo it if we don't like it. So that's uh, the edit on this. So now let's take a look at what it was like before. This is what it was like before. This is what it's like now that we've re-edited it and, and we adjusted the shadows and the highlights. Uh, we added relight uh, to darken the front of the grass here a little bit and then we burned and dodged this uh, foliage in right here to make it a little bit darker. Uh, and so if we take the dodge and burn off, you can see it's a little bit brighter there. It, it looks, the, the foliage looks a little richer there and a little, uh, it's a little less distracting and it, it just looks better in general. And then once again, if we take the whole thing off, this is what it originally looked like. And this is the fi final image of our edit. So that's how you can uh, take um, some tools in Luminar Neo and uh, edit a uh, picture that's taken at high noon on a very bright day and bring out a little bit more detail, make the colors look a little richer and make the overall picture a little more pleasant. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.